guys here we're here to reveal this video is um cossacks 3 the review now if you guys are wondering why i'm inside the game it's because i do not feel like going inside the game um when i'm recording because i'll tell you guys in a second basically before i start this video um, review i just wanted to say my um my things my things to vine how it's shutting down i watched a lot of vine videos ever since it started like i watched the very first vine I watched Thomas Sanders, Gabby Show, you name it. I've probably seen it like King Batch. Uh, crap. I watch a lot of Viners. That's the only three I really watch. Even their vlogs and stuff. But anyways, uh, hashtag Rip Vine 2016. I'm pretty sure um, just by saying that people are probably like, oh crap. You reminded me of it. I try to forget it. But anyways, thanks for the review. Now this game is very good. You have peasants to build. I love this game. Um... This game is very decent. It's not bad of a game. It's not good of a game. Now, the reason why I say it's not good of a game is for a couple of reasons. Now, the first reason is because, one, there's some issues with the monitor thing, but that's most of the game, but that's not it. It's because when you're doing, like, multiplayer and stuff, you do not want to crash. And this game... I gotta lower down the sound. I'm gonna mute the sound. This game makes, like... I don't know how, but I can run this game perfectly. Like, I'm running this game at, let's see, in the game, I'm running this thing at 120, and that's my lock. Like, my frame lock is 120 on Bandicam. I'm run, I can run this game perfectly no matter what. I run this game good. Now, the thing is that I don't like is that the game crashes sometimes like i'm i was in a multiplayer map or tried to join a multiplayer map and it just said just not responding left for five, five minutes it, it still didn't so i left the game I, I that's the main thing i do not like about this game but this game is very decent this game's not the best um rts game my favorite rts and well over fate my favorite all-time medieval rts game will always be stronghold crusader the very original i don't like the other stronghold crusaders I truly hate the other Stronghold Crusaders. They ruined it. Or at least in my opinion. But that's not about the review of Stronghold. Because that game's just old. And millions of people probably have the review. But anyways. This game is very awesome. To a certain extent. You can build a crap ton of people. And with a trainer you can build 9999 if you want to go all out. Just don't cheat anywhere else. Or you're just going to be a cheater. Uh, this game has um, 103 achievements on Steam. Which gives you a pretty awesome thing if you want to keep playing to try to beat them all which i've been doing i have only four achievements and i've only played this says i've only played three hours but i had a match that was four and a half hours which is another good thing about this game because if you verse a very strong person you're going to be stuck with this game whether you like it if you have no time then just forfeit it doesn't really matter if you forfeit you're just a loser if you forfeit a uh, rts game but anyways this game like I said, it's very good, but it also it has its flaws like many other RTS games. But for this RTS game, the main flaw I see in it is the crashing. If they were to fix the crashing, like, I can run this game perfect no matter what, but it crashes. That's the main thing I am going to say throughout this. It has multiplayer, it has everything that an RTS should have, but also it just it just crashes. <laughs> That's the only thing I can really say about this game review. I'm not good at reviews yet. I only play games to have fun. So this review is only a thing that developers send me. So they could show that I can do gameplay, which I am doing right now. But I, I just want to do a review series. And I, I have to get good at it. <laughs> now the other thing is it takes so damn long to get a Prius. It takes, um, how long does it take? Time, 22 points. It takes 22 seconds. Now, I wish it was, like, a trainer. I mean, it's cheating, but I wish it was a trainer to speed it up by half, like, 7 seconds. I mean, why is the Pikeman 0.78 seconds? Like, they're very good in a huge group, which they they should debuff or nerf the Pikeman. Not specifically because they, they die easily, but they should, like, nerf it to, like, 2 seconds per Pikeman. I mean, that's bad, but that's... You can build those things so fast. I mean, they're infantry. They're, like, the base, basic bitch. But, seriously, like, everything else is, like, at least four seconds. This one's seven seconds. But, with all, with everything that this game has to offer, 
I'm going to show you guys what the Diplomatic Center has once I get it. Where's the Academy? Academy is like right here. Yeah. I need the barracks. So let me build the barracks real quick. Wait, first let me finish this. This thing's almost done anyways. Um, now I don't really need resources, which kind of sucks. Because this game, you can spawn with millions of resources, which is actually a downside in my opinion. I mean, in the multiplayer you can't. But I just don't like how you can just have a scenario with millions of resources and not work for them. Like, that's ain't that like a good part of like Command and Conquer, Stronghold Crusader and stuff? Like, you actually have to work for it? I mean, there's cheats to do it. Like, there's cheats for every RTS game probably. My favorite Command and Conquer in all personality is Red Alert 2. But anyways, back to this Cossacks game. Now, I never played Cossacks 1 or 2, if there, I'm pretty sure there is because it's 3. I never played them, so I don't really know much about those ones. But this game is about a 4 out of 10 for me, and that's below, that's a below basic bitch. <laughs> um, now, the reason why is many different reasons. Um, multiplayer lag sometimes. Um, multiplayer lag game crashes whenever you want to actually play like i was just my third attempt recording because the other two recordings actually failed because the game crashed which i don't understand why it crashes like i even ran this game at the lowest settings it still crashed i don't know if it's just me i reinstalled the game three times just so i can try to get this out of the review because i wasn't going to put this in the review but a review you have to put all your basic flaws or all the game's basic flaws in your opinion um, but I know I'm going to get wrecked because I'm not actually playing well, or I'm actually playing, but, um, this game has a lot of flaws, like many other RTS games, but basically, this game does look beautiful, the trees can have some, like, movement, if the trees have movement, this game will be a 5 out of 10, because, I, I it's, it's just basic shit, like, I would not pay this game, I would not pay any money, like, the rock looks shit, I mean, this is an RTS game, I understand, but this is the third game. Like, sure, this looks nice. The buildings itself look nice. The wheat should move, because that's a part of the building. Like, the water even moves. And another thing I hate is the fog. The fog, ugh. I mean, there is cheats where you can really, like, um, uh, control cheat? Or, uh, yeah, control cheat. It's, like, resource all nine. Yeah. And then you can just do that, and you can have a lot of money. Um, cheats are easy in this game, to be honest. But the main thing I don't like about this game is the Diplomatic Center. And I'm going to show you guys why right now. Like, once this thing is built, I'm going to show you guys why I hate the Diplomatic Center in this game. Which brings me down to the 4.4 4 out of 10 game. I mean, this game in general with the t terrain is a zero, like a 2. 2 out of 5 of the terrain because the terrain just looks absolute shit for an RTS. Even Command and Conquer Red Alert 2 has better com freaking terrain than this shit. Even freaking Stronko Crusader, the first part has better than this shit. Um, now the buildings itself is kind of decent. If it would be awesome if, if they could have an effect where you can see the insides of the buildings, but that's probably a hard thing to do. I like the way you there's the things move, but the Things itself has shit graphics. It literally just looks like images. Um, now here's why I hate this thing in general when it comes to multiplayer. Is, wait, not that one. This one. Look at this. It takes, how long does it take? One second per of these things. And they're very decent in a huge, huge thing. Like, they're very OP when it comes to a huge force. These things take about or this one in particular like these things are op or they can be op like some like the dragon the dragoon is very overpowered in my personal opinion and that's because it it doesn't take much to kill a person in this game if you don't use cheats like if you use cheats even cheats are buggy in this game which it's kind of stupid like a, a trainer can be shit um now, i never seen this stuff, the ships, because I've never actually played on a water terrain bat map. Now, the thing I don't like is that I'm starting to lag for no other reason, but that's not part of the review. 
Um, now, like, you guys are probably gonna say, yo, you suck at reviews. You're all right. I'm not used to it. I'm only on my, like, seventh review. I love RTS games, but this one, I kind of don't like. I am going to get absolute Shrek, so I, I I shouldn't even, you know what, can I, can I just, these things have, yeah, those, those things have, damn it, I need a cannon, I don't have a cannon, um, crap, you guys, just, just no, just, just no, run, you are going to die, just, just get out of here, I need to put the waypoint here, now, I wish you can shoot these things like in other games, but you know that's fine. It's 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 all right. Can this thing still hit me? It can hit me still. Whoa, that lag spike. That's another thing I hate about this game is the lag spikes. Like, I could be running. I'm pretty sure even. Oh my god, that thing has that much of a range. No, <laughs> I never seen sh ships. Um, but before I die uh, you know what he can kill me i i could care less to be honest now i hate the peasants how it takes 12 seconds to build a peasant like they're they're peasants they shouldn't take a year to build like seriously um i should really build a dock though or you know what i'll build an artillery department over here so i can kill this ship i know this shit is going to die this thing really has to hurry because i do not want it to die Unless it just runs, okay, it's just, it's just running away. Another thing's hitting it? What's the range of those things? I mean, sure, it's a cannon, but... Wait, what is hitting it? There was... It says, what? This game's 2016, and there's still unrealistic um, boat shit? Alrighty, then. You know what? You can be a fake bitch. Um... I'll build my cannon and destroy you, you son of a... Uh, but anyways, the game has alright physics. Um, it's not the best, and it's it's going to take three minutes to, to build a cannon. Um, which is understandable. I mean, in Command & Conquer, it takes about ten seconds to build a tank, but um, it's understandable. Anyways, the graphics itself, a three out of five. Um, it would be better if you could see the insides of the building if they put that type of texture in it. But not much games do, which is kind of disappointing. I like how it shows it's being built. I wish you can show it where it's going to hit, like it shows actual damage to the place. But that's never going to happen to an RTS, probably, or it has realistic effects. I'm just giving my personal... But the review itself, like, I, I put... I'm too harsh on games, to be honest. Only I'm a Overwatch, Rocket League, babe. Or I, that's the only games I can actually give perfect reviews. But that's because I played so long of it. So um, other than the word the, that the terrain itself, like the wheat should move, like it should have like a a gif. Even a gif is better than this game. Well, not the game, the t the graphics. Um, but if you guys want to play a very long RTS game that can take up to four hours multiplayer, I would recommend buying this game because well, the graphics might not be the best, but nor is the combat. I, what am I saying? The combat is actually kind of crap. Like, okay, there's in one of my comments on multiplayer, I had an army of I think 200 mercenary. Um, all those guys that only takes like half a second to build. I had an army of 500 versus an army of, uh, I think, 50 pikemen, or no, 150 pikemen, and I lost. I was way better in numbers. I mean, they have shit health, which you would think it would be better because it's a horse and a dude with a freaking big-ass sword. He could, like, if this was real life, I mean, it's a game because health and no physics because health, every, every game has health, but, um, just... And you should you would think that the sword can swing the guy's neck off like you would think that would be realistic against 500 people the horse would definitely win even if it was real life 500 horsemen versus pikemen would definitely win because the horses is one can just trample over most of them even if they can't the bodies would um but overall this game's about a a basic bitch five out of ten for me 
but I don't even think any game that I reviewed so far has even came close to a 7. And if I said any game with a 7, that's just being nice. Most games are usually a 6 to a 0. Now, I have seen a 0 games before. But this game's a 4 to 5. Um, Like, some games are like 6, 7s, depending on how I feel. But this game, just look at this. I'm 72 and I was barely playing. This guy's 550. I mean, sure, he's very hard, but uh, still, this game's alright. It's one of those RTS games that you want to play when you have a, really want to have a long match. So I would recommend buying this game, like I said, if you want to have a very long match. If you if you came here to buy this game with graphics, don't. Graphics are not realistic at all. You would think for a third part, like, if this was number one, it would be understandable why the terrain ain't moving, or if the wheat, the trees, any of the leaves, like, the leaves ain't even moving. The water is, the, the people are, at least the people are moving, like, if the horse was just, like, a, just an image, just, like, moving. Now, that would be a 0 out of 10, just because they aren't, but, overall, the game's a 4 out of 10. Now, I know I've been moving away from different games, but... I'm still new to reviewing. Please no, please no hate. I fun. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thanks for watching this. Um, overall, my my final review is a four out of ten or four out of four to five out of ten. I'm sorry if you guys really love this game or you guys are a diehard fan of Cossacks. I never really played Cossacks, besides this that four hour game plus an hour, an hour versus CPUs. But if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys want to, if you guys buy this game, make sure you guys get ready for those game crashes, um, game crashes, multiplayer crashes, no terrain movement, like, this game has, like, five things wrong with it that I can name, or three things I can name back in my head. Terrain movement, none, or null, the wheat movement, null, which is basically the terrain, or the... The non-particle or the background, basically. That's basically what it is in this game. Um, The background or the trees, the rocks look like absolute shit. Uh, the wheat doesn't move. The multiplayer crashes. The single... The, just loading the game can crash. Like, I crashed twice just loading the game. I'm trying to... This, this map right here took, like, like, a minute to load. And it almost crashed. Like, it was probably getting to that point, it took two, one minute to load, and I was waiting four minutes. At least I think it was taking a minute, I don't know, but they really gotta fix the way that is. I mean, it's probably generating, and it's just like, oh, you're trying to generate a very good map? Oh, sorry, we can't handle that, we're just number three out of a hundred. Maybe by the tenth part, maybe you can load faster, and maybe our terrain movement would be a bit better. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you slap the like button down below. If we can get to, let's see, a big like goal. Six likes, that'd be greatly appreciated. And yes, I'll see you dudes when I see you dudes. Peace off. Bye. Hi. Well. <laughs>